Bismillah. Hello, welcome back. This class we shall discuss how to rename a file. This is a very simple concept. This we do in Windows just by right clicking this. For example, welcome is a file. This I want to rename to hello. Simply we right click this one and make this one as a hello. Therefore, the file welcome, the old file name welcome has now become the file hello. This is what uh, we do in Windows and in DAS we do like this one. We go to the DAS prompt, uh, save the command, I go to the command prompt. Now right now I go to e colon cdmsm. For example, uh, suppose there is a file called as a hello, you can see that hello.txt is there. I can rename the file ren, what is the file name, hello.txt. What you want to rename, you want to rename as welcome.txt. Therefore, now if you see the directory, the hello.txt has become welcome.txt. So, how this occurs? How this right clicking a file name and changing occurs? So, basically, when you right click and rename, basically an interrupt is generated and that interrupt executes a program. That program renames the file. How it is done, we shall see here in order to rename a file four steps are to be followed the first one the dx register should contain the old file name which is terminated to be by zero then second step the second condition is a di should contain the new file name di should be the new file name terminated by zero then ah register the service number 56 is to be loaded and you have to call the subroutine interrupt 21 if the file is renamed successfully then the carry flag will be equal to zero therefore that means the file is renamed successfully if the carry flag becomes a one that means due to some error the file cannot be renamed for example uh, the file uh, the renamed file may already be existing or there may be a file may not be found like that type of errors the carry flag will become one it is an indication that the file we cannot rename right these four conditions if we apply we ourselves can write a program to rename a file now i've taken a blank notepad so i take a comment statement so this is renaming a file rename a file using 8086 uh, assembler right the first directive is model small the second directive is stack 256 memory locations the third directive is data now we shall see the condition the first one we shall take uh, the old some variable name old file name define byte and i call the file name suppose hello.txt is the file name and it is to be terminated by zero let us take another variable new file name define by it and this i will what you want to rename suppose hello welcome.txt and this is also terminated by zero i want to display a message if the file is renamed successfully therefore i will take a variable ok i define by it what i want to display i want to display file renamed successfully otherwise file rename and since this i want to display the message the last character should be dollar sign if the file cannot be renamed then i go to i take another variable not okay define by it i display this due to some error file not rename error file not rename this also i want to display therefore terminated by dollar sign right these are my data segments i have the old file name variable new file name variable then OK is a variable, not OK is a variable. These two messages I want to display when I execute the program. Right, then the my code segment begins. This is begin is a label, move in some register, AX register, the starting address of data, move in data segment, AX, and move in extra data segment, extra segment, AX. Right, now the first condition is, I, I said, the first condition is dx should point to the old file name therefore move in dx you write the old file name offset of old file name all right 
then move in di the offset of the new file name that is welcome dot text then the third condition is the ah should be equal to 56h 56h therefore this is the service number service number then i call the service routine interrupt to 21 now if the carry flag is one jump on carry i go to some label error in error what i display is that is i have to display this message error file not rename in order to display a string there are three conditions the first condition is this one the dx should point to what string you want to display i want to display not okay then the second condition is ah should be equal to 9 the third condition is to interrupt should be equal to 21 all right if the carry flag is there then we display the message error file not rename suppose if the carry flag is not one then i have to display the same message therefore then i display dx is equal to this one is what display i want to display file rename therefore i put the variable ok therefore we put the variable ok in ah equal to 9 interrupt 21 after displaying this one file rename it should not display file not rename therefore i make a jump unconditional jump to something say over and in over i terminate it therefore over is move in ah comma 4 ch this is the service number for exit to the dos prompt at the beginning right so this one extra segmented when data segment extra segment the first condition dx is pointing to the old file name da is pointing to the new file name okay that is we want to rename hello.txt to welcome.txt and in case if carry flag is one that means i have to display this message file not rename therefore i display that by three lines if the carry flag is not one that means it was successful therefore i display by these three lines i display file renamed all right then i exit to the operating system all right this we shall call this file i save this as i save i call it as my rename dot asm and all files right now let us compile this one let us go there and here i give the command tasm for making this object file the file name is my rename my rename right see there are no errors then from the object i have to create exe therefore i link it now it is asking the object file name therefore i give my rename exe i want to keep my rename dot exe right now i require a file well hello dot text therefore this file i will here itself i will make this one is equal to hello.txt now hello is there now you can see that if i run the program this will become welcome all right now let us uh, run the program the executable program is my rename right here you can see that if i say if i execute this this program will become my rename i mean welcome so now when i run this you can see that the file is renamed and see that the welcome the hello.txt has become welcome.txt again if i run the program then it will try to search the file hello.txt but since hello.txt is not there it cannot able to rename therefore it will give error file not renamed so see that error file not renamed has come therefore this is a simple routine which uh, uh, which is uh, executed when you rename a file so the four conditions i repeat again the dx register should point to the old file name the di register should contain the new file name the service number is 56 h with interrupt 21 if everything is successful then the carry flag is equal to zero if something suppose if the file is not found suppose if it cannot able to rename or if it is a protected file or if the file what you are renaming is already existing if cannot rename then in that case carry flag will be one that is what we examine here all right we have put the first condition the dx is pointing to the old file name di is pointing to the new file name 
ये है जी फिफ्टी सिक्स इज द सर्विस नंबर एंड इंटर ट्वेंटी वन सो दीज आर द थ्री लाइन्स विच विच री नेम द फाइल एंड दिस इज ओनली फॉर आवर पर्पज वी वॉन्ट टू डिस्प्ले वेदर द फाइल री नेम द सक्सेसफुल्ली और वेदर द फाइल नॉट री नेम ड्यू टू सम एर Right, this uh, is a simple program for renaming a file. Therefore, here we are using the DAS or the BIOS interrupt basic input output system interrupts. Why? Because we are using the uh, AH equal to 56 and interrupt 21. Likewise, all these things are the BIOS interrupts, and uh, this one is the DAS interrupt. Right here, we are using the extra segment because by default the DI uses it. Therefore, we use this one. Uh, extra segment extra segment here refers to extra data segment hope this would have given you a uh, understanding of what is meant by a renaming a file and how simply by giving the right click and rename how all these things internally happens all right i have taken the file name explicitly but here you can pass these two things as argument that you could have done but this is an introductory lecture therefore i have taken the file name actual file name and the actual renamed file name for example all right thank you so much for listening and please subscribe my channel and please give some feedback so that i can improve thank you so much once again